time again. Time to get ready for back to school. We've been working on a few printables with a cute panda theme. All of our printables can be downloaded for free at myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. In addition to the printables, we need cardstock, a straw, tape, a push pin, and remember to always have adult supervision when working with sharp objects, and glue. I start by printing out the printables. This page has folders, binders, and paper, and this one has a new textbook. I start by cutting out the folders, turn it over, and fold on the lines so everything bends in, cut the corners at a diagonal to make tabs, use a glue stick to apply glue to the sides, then fold them over, glue down the top, on the bottom side tabs, apply glue to the outside, then fold it over to glue into place to make a pocket. Repeat on the other side. Once the glue has dried, fold it in half to make a doll size folder. We have two folder options that look really cute together. And I can cut paper, glue on a little glitter, then glue it to the front to personalize the folder. Now let's cut out the binders, trim the corners to make tabs, fold on the lines, just like before, cut a rectangle of cardstock to fit on the inside. Glue down the tabs, refold the spine, taking time to make a good crease. Glue down the pockets on the inside. While waiting for the glue to dry, take a straw and finely cut the ends to make plastic rings. Cut out the paper printables, fold it in half and glue to make a double-sided piece of paper. Use a push pin to make holes. Place the page onto the spine. Use a pencil to mark the holes. Take a small piece of tape. Place the tape through the ring. Then tape the ring over the spot marked. Repeat for the other rings. Cut a piece of metallic tape. I found this near the washi tape at Target. And I'm just gonna cut a very thin piece Carefully place it through all the rings, trim off the excess to make a binder. Carefully cut the rings on one side so you can place the pages inside the binder. What I really like about this is that the rings are a little soft so you can take the pages out if you like. And if they get loose, well you can just bend them back into place. But it does hold pretty good. We can place extra paper in the pocket and there is more than one binder to choose from. Cut out the composition books. We have a gray and a light blue polka dot. Fold on the lines so you can see the thickness of the spine. Cut cardstock. Stack and glue several layers together. Glue it into the printable to make books that will always lay flat. Cut out the blue pieces of paper at the bottom I have a total of six pages. I stack them one on top of the other, lining up the edges, run the glue stick across the top, holding the pages firmly together until it dries. I'm gonna cut a small piece of cardstock that is the same size as the pages and glue it to the back to make a notepad where you can tear the pages out. And I added a second set of pages so my notepad is a little thicker. Take the marker printable and cut out both pieces. Glue them onto cardstock. Cut them out. Take the smaller one and repeat a few more times to make it thicker. Then glue it onto the larger one to look like a pack of markers. The last thing we need is a textbook. Cut out the cover. Fold on the lines. Cut cardstock to make three rectangles to fit inside the folds on the cover, gluing two on the sides and one in the middle, leaving a tiny space in between them. Fold over and glue down the paper tabs to make the cover for the book. Cut out the pages so they are long strips, then fold accordion style. Glue the last page to the first page on the second strip 
Glue the rest of the pages together, making sure the first and last page are single pages. Place it into the cover to see if it needs trimming. Yeah, I can use just a little. I use my scissors to carefully cut off the excess, apply glue to the inside of the cover, make sure the pages are right side up, then glue them into the cover. Press and hold firmly until it dries to make a textbook. Now I'm going to take a toothpick, trim it. I filed the point down so it's not so long. There, that's better. Paint one end with nail polish. Allow it to dry. Glue a pom-pom on the end. Use a pencil to color the tip to make fun pencils. To make cute panda-themed school supplies. Thank you for joining us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! We want to give a shout out to JGW1. What's up? Hey Carmen, check out my one of a kind, totally awesome school supplies. I have a crafting fairy, you know, and she made these just for me. Ooh, those are cute. Can I have some too? Um, sorry, but they were specially made for crafting fairy. Carmen, what are you doing? Ugh. Stuck the landing. Can I get some of them panda school supplies? Of course, I love crafting. Enjoy! Now we both have panda school supplies. Ooh, can we trade pencils? Pink is my color. Uh. Carmen, what are you doing? Oops, <laughs> oh, so sorry Carmen, that was horrible. <laughs>